Hey fellas, I've got a little Hitachi uh, SR704 receiver here that I got. I found it in the trash. Uh, went in power on, so I opened it up and uh, the 3 amp fuse was blowed. It actually blew it enough that it, it busted and it was laying down inside. Uh, so I got that up out of there, both halves, and, and seen it was a 3 amp, so I soldered in a new fuse. But I've hooked him up, and this is my dim bulb tester here. I just kind of rigged it in this, this electric box, but it's a 60 watt uh, incandescent bulb, and this plug is uh, the way it's wired. I got it, I broke the tabs on the plug so that it runs through the it's in series so but anyways I've got a short and it glows the ball bright when I hit the power button I uh, went directly to the output transistors and I removed them from circuit and I found one that's bad and I'll show you here. It doesn't seem like it's a direct short, but and it's kind of strange the way it when I touch these probes on here, it's got a bit of a delay sometimes. But there you want know, 1.5 volts in diode mode, and I switch and I get like 1.9 that way. Now sometimes I've really got a See right there, it don't want to do it, but then then it'll then it'll kick in. So I'm taking it. This is a bad transistor. All the rest uh, test fine. I gotta switch my leads. I might want to you know, probably be in the way, but all the other ones test fine. There, and there. Uh, the way this setup is, this center, uh, the center pin is not soldered, but they're using the metal base there. I think is for the emitter. I'm not. I can't remember which one's base collector emitter, but. But anyways, I I pulled all four outputs and checked them. And I took the two out, or on the, you know, I took, this, these two were on the same channel. This one was the bad one. So I took the two outputs out on that channel, and uh, I still have a short. I cannot find the short in this thing. And I have done all kinds of testing. I've pulled almost every transistor out of this thing that I can find on this amp section, on the power supply section. I've uh, uh, I've took the bridge rectifier out a few times, double checked, triple checked. Uh, I even put a different one in at one point. That didn't do nothing. Uh, I can take. This, these blue, blue, yellow, and red wire. I desoldered them a uh, wire wrap pins from the underside there. And, and uh, when I take these wires off, my short goes away. And keep in mind, when I say a short, the only thing that's telling me I got a short is my dim bulb glowing. I don't necessarily know really how to check, you know, with a resistance from a device to ground or to, should I, I don't know, should I test to chassis ground or should I test to, uh, you know, like uh, gr ground on a cap. But this bulge here, I think is, it's not this cap, it's just this coating. But anyways, I've removed both big caps and checked for short. Uh, that wasn't the problem. I've removed these three caps 
that wasn't a problem they're not shorted there's two transistors there I've pulled them out of circuit every diode that I found uh, on this power board and amp board I have lifted a leg tested every one of them tests fine I've had the speaker relay out that didn't make any difference up in here I've had every one of these transistors out uh, and they all test fine now I got a little bit antsy the other night because I spent a couple three or four nights trying to test for find this short and I got to the point where I was like you know what I'm gonna plug it into the wall and just directly you know not the dim bulb so I put <laughs> I put I probably shouldn't have but put a nine amp fuse in here. It's supposed to be a four. And I thought, well, you know, where it smokes and might tell me where my shorts at. So anyways, I put the nine amp fuse in, plugged her directly into AC main, and she let out the magic smoke. These two resistors right here, they smoked and over here, it's kind of like a mirror. They look like they might have started to get hot, but I'm not real positive. I haven't checked them since. So I thought, well, you know, maybe that's telling me that my short is somewhere up in here. But I went ahead then because I this was the good channel. And then... <laughs> You know, this is the one that the resistors cook when I plug her in, but I have all the out, out tra the output transistors are all removed, and that's when I plugged it in. Now, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong by trying to play this, you know, turn it on while I have no output transistors or no speakers hooked up. So, correct me if, you know, I shouldn't do that. Should I have a dummy load? I'm a beginner at this, so I'm just basically all I know to do is, you know, I can check for bad transistors, check diodes. I don't, I have, I don't have an ESR meter or anything. But uh, what else have I done? I have not checked anything over here on this board. Now. I don't know I know you know I got your tuner section but you know is this a preamp board maybe I've got a problem over here one thing I did if you look at this connector here from the power board that, that powers and comes over here to this board I can I can pull this connection off here but I still have my short so that doesn't make any difference if this is plugged in or not. Uh, obviously when I take the rectifier out and plug it in, I don't have a short. But keep in mind, I'm just when I say I don't have a short, I'm just going by is the dim bulb getting bright when I hit the power button. And like I said, I did take these wires off and I do have voltage. I don't remember exactly what they were. I think it was like... I think one was between one set of wires I think it might have had like 50 volts and the other one might have been like 24 but I can't remember for sure what that was but oh, what else uh, one thing I wanted to mention they say this is a class G amplifier which I've tried to research that before and I don't know if I quite grasp what exactly that means but let me do a, a quick fire up here. I'll show you what it's doing. Uh, 60 watt bulb in line and boom. To me, that's it's got a dead short somewhere and I just cannot find it. Back here there's a 
there's this IC and I'm not sure if I think it might have something to do and control this speaker uh, relay but like I said I had the speaker relay out I still had a short I even took this IC out of circuit still had a short like I said I had both big uh, large filter caps out rectifier here's the way the output transistors are let's see I, I ain't got my glasses I can't read but I think that's now I'm not gonna say if that I can't see good enough without my darn reading glasses but but yeah you can see I mean a, how many transistors I've pulled and tested so if you guys have any suggestions so what I should hunt for next because I just I don't know what else to check I do see a couple ICs down here not sure what they do and I don't know how to check an IC for short but but yeah and like I said these this pair of resistors here I think are on the emitter of this transistor and then this trend these this transistor and it's <clears throat> it's match over here it's got I don't know what is this like a uh, it's got a little device on the side of it I don't know if that senses temperature now when I had these out I don't know if I actually tried to uh, fire the unit up but I know I checked the transistors and they were fine now this little device on the side I'm not sure how I would test that so that might be one thing I should try maybe is go ahead and just pull these back out but tell me if I'm doing wrong by trying to power this up without my outputs output transistors or speakers but I just fixed a little Kenwood it had one blowed or uh, well I had might have had two shorted output transistors on one channel I popped them out and then my fuse quit blowing and the, the unit worked and played on the on the good channel and everything seemed fine doing it that way and 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 for a while I still had these two outputs still in circuit and I was trying to run it you know with just the the two outputs that were on the bad channel out but I can't get this bulb to quit glowing so any help would be appreciated guys if you got any ideas what I should check next or maybe how to do you know you know some resistance checks from a device you know do I do I go from the device to chassis ground or do I go from the device to like say the negative on the cap or is it just when I'm in the power supply section I use the negative of the cap as my ground uh, point like I said I'm just learning still learning this stuff and it's just a just for fun I picked him out of the trash and I love my vintage receivers and stereo equipment and I was just trying to save him. I thought, well, you know, because I hadn't fooled with any of these controls in the front. I thought, well, maybe something, you know, is short in here, but I cycled all the switches and, and still, still a dead short somewhere. Well, thanks guys for your time and if, uh, you have any ideas I sure appreciate it and uh, something for me to test next I'm not quite sure where to go thank you bye